Hello everyone. In our last video, we got introduced to data handling. We understood the stages of data handling and we also in brief talked about the data collection methods. In this video, we are going to talk about data organization. There are many techniques to organize data. The basic, the simplest is ordering the data. In this, what we do is we put the data in ascending or descending order. It's generally used with numerical data because that's how we can ascend or descend. There is another technique where we find the frequency of occurrence of data. And the technique is called frequency distribution table. Here we see each data point, how many times it occurs in the set of data. So if there are 20 numbers, we see each number, how many times it occurs in that complete set of data. And that how many times is the frequency. Each number will be our category. This technique can also be used for non-numerical data. In this video, we will talk in detail about the frequency distribution table. We surveyed the class 6A and found out what are the sports students like the most. And we got this data. Here, I'm going to use acronyms. And the data we received is like this. So there are 40 students and who have given these preferences. Now, this data does not make any sense. I can't say anything just looking at this data. So what we do, we are going to arrange this in frequency distribution table. In frequency distribution table, we will have three columns. The first would be category. The second would be tally marks. We'll talk about what are tally marks. And third would be the frequency. In the category, we know there are these five games we are going to talk about. So we'll write these as category. And against this, we are going to check how many times this B has occurred in this set of data. So I can directly count, try to count, but then I may make mistakes. So we make use of tally marks, where we give one standing line for each time the data occurs. So first we'll go for B. So if you see here, B, then there's C, then one more time C, then we have CH, then we have F, two times, then again B, K, K. When we have fifth one, we don't give fifth as standing line, but we just cross this. That indicates one group of five. So we have done the tally marking. Now we count them. Five plus four, nine. Because we have made the group, it's easy to count. Five, five, ten plus two, twelve. Five plus two, seven. 5 plus 1, 6, 5 plus 1, 6. And now if we add them, 6, 6, 12, 12 and 7, 19, 19 plus 2, 21, 
plus 10, 31 plus 9, 40. So we have got all the numbers covered. So this is called a frequency distribution table. We are seeing what is the frequency and how it is distributed against each category. So there are 9 students who like badminton, 12 students who like cricket, 7 football, 6 kabaddi and 6 chess. Now this data once ordered gives us a lot of information. We know the most popular sport is cricket. We also can see that more number of students like outdoor sport than indoor sport. This kind of information is available once we organize the data. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again. Goodbye.